But if you close your eyes Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go from just a basic old house to a very very secure house to protect yourself from other players and mobs. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first thing you can do is just dig down a bit and add some obsidian layers so people can't just try to dig into your base. So unless they have a diamond pickaxe, they can't really get into your base, which is really cool, really easy, and really simple. Pilot Furball 871 fell from a high place. So the next trap you can do is the arrow dispenser trap. So what you want to do is just put down as many dispensers as you have room for. I did six, three on each side. And then you can cover them up with trap doors. I did spruce trap doors. And the arrows will actually still shoot through them, surprisingly. So then what you want to do is hook them all up with redstone. I did mess up. Um, this is very simple. You can just, like, go watch a redstone tutorial. I'll try to s show you what I did. I did mess up right here, but you just want to connect them all. And then once you connect them all, you can connect them to a lever, and it should shoot out. Pilot Furball 871 was slain by Pufferfish. The Pufferfish trap is definitely my favorite. So what you want to do is just make like a pattern like this. And then fill it with buckets of Pufferfish. And then you can put a wall around it. So like there's no way somebody can get into your base. They have to go through this. They have to. So as you can see coming up. We're going to put trap doors, which will kind of hide it. So people are just like, oh, it's just trap doors. But I was having a hard time figuring through spruce or iron. I recommend doing one that people can't see through because, yeah, don't do iron. No, that's a bad idea. Yes, just I did spruce. And you can just shift click and you should be able to do it pretty easily. to protect your base is just mostly to protect your chest so what i want to do is just set up a normal piston door and connect it to like a lever then you want to put a piston and do another one you want to use a stone button not a lever but this is just to show you and it will actually open the door 
so it's pretty secret and i did mess up on the piston thing so i was just fixing it much throughout this clip but at the final i'll show you and it's actually really really cool everyone again so if you did like this video you can go ahead and leave it a thumbs up if you didn't you can leave it thumbs down and if you like me and if you like my channel and you want to see more make sure to subscribe well guys bye and have a blessed day okay i did it let me think i guess it's my turn maybe it's time to put this on your on your side burns he say i'm bad he probably right he pressing me like button down